What if I told you that just one marketing action for next 30 days can double your downloads and quadruple your revenue? I just did that and I will show you the numbers and also I will tell you what works what not for me. Will you do that as well? Check this out. Don't worry, I will show you in better details, but that's basically is last month and that is end of the marketing month. Everything is green, everything is growing. Hey everyone, I'm Iwerts, I'm building mobile apps and I just completed 30 days marketing challenge in my indie app accelerator community. I committed to doing one marketing action every single day for 30 days straight, no matter how small and results, they completely changed how I think about marketing of for indie apps. In this video, I'm going to break down exactly what I did, show you the real numbers and share insights that every indie developer needs to know about marketing. So here it is how it started. Basically, I did post in community. The rules were simple. You just pick one app to focus for entire months, do one marketing action every single day and share what did you do in community and track your results. I choose my habit tracking up small habits and honestly, I wasn't expecting massive results. I just wanted to build a habit of marketing consistently. Yes, I'm posting contents on socials quite often, but I didn't do like effort to do marketing for the products. And here is how it looks in community, basically post with rules. The most important thing is that if you miss the day, just do not drop the challenge, just keep going, you know, come up, catch up next day, keep going. And basically, yeah, post from community members. It was really interesting to see what others are doing, learn from each other, share insights, provide feedback and yeah, basically just keep going for those 30 days straight. Okay, now let's talk what actually I did during those 30 days. I posted content across multiple platforms where I posted. Actually, I prepared kind of some summary post for community. It was basically short form video and photo carousels on Instagram, X, TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> YouTube shorts and even I think I did YouTube posts as well. I don't remember in community board, but doesn't matter. So basically I posted everyone everywhere. I did long form videos on YouTube and I did live streams on YouTube, Twitch and kick. So basically the rule that I come up for myself, I should post something on any of those platforms every day. Most often I did post or reel on Instagram and all the other short form, short form or vertical video platforms. But in few days when I didn't, then I went live and then I did live streams. In summary, those live streams got something like 8,000, 8,500 views, which is not a lot. Uh, because you can get more views from one reel, you know, but difference between reel and live stream is that, you know, when you do reel, that's basically just someone opening your video, watching for two, three seconds and swiping to the next one. With live stream, it's a little bit different. You are already longer with the, this person. You may be getting into the communication, asking questions, getting some answers. Basically, that makes better connection between your audience, you and audience, and they may be more interested to check out what you are working on, what you are building and so on. The same applies to long form YouTube videos. You know, if one YouTube video is, let's say 15 minutes, imagine how much reels you should watch to be 15 minutes in contact with the creator. So therefore I kind of rate live streams and long form videos kind of higher than all the short form content because that is just, you know, quite often Brian wrote <laughs> mindless scrolling, but still helps to promote applications. And most active I was on my Instagram. If you go to my Instagram profile, you will see that basically I have different types of posts. I tried many things, for example, just kind of posting video where I am uploading the app and then adding at the end this marketing video. This marketing video you can download from App Store Connect mobile application. You are getting it automatically when you basically uploading every new build. Sometimes those are just, you know, kind of uh, story, uh, not story, but uh, photo carousels. Those actually working well. This is just basically day in a life, tra la la, moving around. And then I kind of featuring my application here at the end as, uh, as well. And basically I have something in the 
even not mentioning application in this specific post, but yeah, basically, if you are looking on the insights, this one got almost 100,000 views, you know? And most of them, 80% were non-followers, basically new audience, which is good, basically. That helps you to grow your profile and spread your words to new audience. If you are looking on Reels, I have mixed results, let's say 5,000, 2,000, uh, 11,000. I will say that currently I'm getting more views on photo carousels. Maybe that just says that my Reels are not great. I don't know, doesn't matter, but keep in mind basically what I want to say is that do not ignore photo carousels. You can tell interesting stories in photo carousels and they are getting quite a lot of views, so give them a chance. Also, I trade talking AI videos and non-talking AI videos. So here, for example, is, let me find one. This one, for example, is talking AI video, basically just AI starting to talk the problem with those and then i basically showing my application the problem with ai talking videos is that basically lips are moving still badly lips are not synchronized well with text to speech when i use non-talking ai videos like in this example here just person coming ai actor coming to the mirror filming herself and i just have caption without any text those videos perform better than AI really speaking. And uh, yeah, sure, I don't need AI speaking. I just basically record myself and so on. But why to use AI? Uh, using AI is good. If you have plenty of money you would like to burn, then you can do mass production, create a lot of videos, test different AI actors, test different languages. With AI, you can basically create those videos in different languages. If you are talking about mass production of that type of content, then actually AI videos are easier. And yeah, even if you will get less views, who cares? Basically, one video maybe from 100 will go viral and you basically pour all the money in that content and start to promote it and do paid marketing. That was out of the scope for me because I don't have that type of money and also I'm basically not very interested in that as well. Okay, if I would have a shitload of money, maybe I would be interested, but I'm not. I really enjoy creating that content and I'm making it. So sometimes I'm lazy, sometimes I'm, I do not feel. So this challenge was different. I did those videos even if I didn't feel making videos, you know. Uh, what tools did I use to create that content? What I would suggest you to use as well. I used this arcade AI to create uh, talking AI videos. I have to say that this type of video, for example, this one, I posted those as well. This type of video. Blah blah blah. Basically, just talking AI. It's those videos didn't perform well. Uh, what was working for me? I was using this tool, uh, PostBridge. I was using it for cross-posting. Basically, when I publish video, I'm just going to the videos. Actually, I have a few draft drafts here. Let me show how I do. Here is, for example, draft. Why did we choose Bangkok? Okay, this is already basically scheduled draft video. I am talking in this video basically why we move it to the Bangkok and so on. And here, for example, I'm writing captions and I am, for example, selecting on which platform I would like to publish this video. I don't think we need this on LinkedIn, but threads. TikTok, YouTube, even YouTube Shorts and Instagram. Yeah, that will work. And for example, now I just can schedule this post or I can post it now. For example, I'm posting it now. And this post basically is posted on all the platforms. That helps me to be way more effective with content posting and scheduling. Also, there is AI Studio in this post bridge service and you can create some AI videos. The key of the game is consistency, not perfection. Some days I just posted 
simple carousel, basically going outside with family, spending time, making f some photos, then, be then basically posting carousel and also promoting my application somewhere in it. Other days I created long videos, spend many hours on live streams. The point is showing up every single day. And after 30 days here is what happened. And our impressions jumped from six and a half to eight point eight and a half thousand views. Basically that's twenty two percent increase. Product page views increased for fifty percent. Uh, conversion rate improved significantly. Conversion rate improvements n are not so easy and especially I didn't change screenshots for the application. Basically that's happened because we are getting better traffic here and that converts better. Uh, total downloads almost 100% increase and monthly proceeds it's basically increased for 367 percent that's crazy yes that absolute number we got from 12 dollars to 56 not a big deal right but imagine if you add one zero or two zeros to that number if you are for example not on 12 bucks but on 1200 which is already quite impressive and if you could jump from 1200 to 5600 that's crazy you know uh, even just imagine for example if you have a grocery shop somewhere next to you if you will go to that grocery shop and will say to the owner oh you know you know what you need spend something like let's say 30 minutes to one hour in a day for content marketing and your sales will grow for 367 percent he will not believe you first but if he will believe you he or she will basically will jump on whatever you will say to do that and will do that so yeah I, i'm looking on those numbers for numbers from that perspective okay what are key insights from this experiment i will say that this experiment taught me few crucial things about marketing that every indie developer needs to understand so first one consistency beats perfection always insight number two cross posting is your friend i discovered that already before not in in this experiment but cross posting doesn't hurt your reach I kind of was thinking that, oh, okay, if I will post the video on Instagram and the same video in TikTok and maybe even post that on Twitter, then audience will start to tell me what the hell are you doing? Why are you doing that? Why are you posting same content everywhere? I saw that already in YouTube Shorts. Now it is in Instagram. There are two things. First, uh, not everyone see each and every content of you. Then also algorithm shuffle it. And also you have different audience on different uh, platforms. It's not that same people follow you on same platforms. Not everyone is on TikTok. Not everyone is on Instagram. And not everyone see every post that you are doing on those platforms. Just do not overthink it. Cross post content. Just do it. Insight number three, yes, use AI tools, but make them human. I experimented with both AI generated videos and personal talking head videos. AI tools like Ercad AI were great for volume if you want to create a huge amount of videos. But I think that currently, at least for my audience, my content, my own created content works better than AI. And I know that I personally just when I see AI video, I just swipe. So bonus insights. If you are using, uh, if you are posting content on Instagram, use Instagram edits application. Uh, head of Instagram says that they currently pushing that content. They want to promote their application. So how long that will go? No one knows. So maybe they will stop doing that tomorrow, but today it works. So you are getting extra points for distribution, a little bit more views. Also use trial reels. If you are creating, if you are posting trial reel, how it works, basically your current audience, those who are following you, those who are subscribed to you, they will not see trial reels. And those are really good to basically test whatever content you will, you would like to test. For example, you would like to test AI video, but you kind of shy to show it to your audience just post it at real real and only new followers basically new audience not even followers new audience who are not following you yet will see those videos and yeah if you if you are so far in the video and still do not believe that marketing matters here is the thing as indie developers we love to code we like to build products and marketing feels like it is necessary evil we have to do and that's kind of salesy pushy and so on something 
this is kind of not so good taste. <laughs> but basically, this experiment proved that uh, marketing is not about being salesy and pushy. For example, if I build gym up or if I'm building a habit tracking application, I can basically just show like day in a life type content, use this product, show how I'm using application, tell how I'm building this application. And that obviously helps with downloads. I'm getting good results, you know. Every day I marketed, I was essentially saying, hey, I built something that could help you. And yeah, people respond. Basically, I'm getting downloads. They downloaded the app, they used it, and even they paid for it, which is nice. Thanks, guys. If you want to try this for yourself, here is what I recommend to do. You should pick one of your products, even if you have two, three, five, whatever, pick one. Don't spread your focus. Basically, focus on one app, one product, or at least one audience. Okay, if you have two apps, but audience is the same, create content for this audience. Okay, market those two applications, but basically focus on one audience. Commit to one action per day, even if it is just single social media post. It doesn't take too much time to write post on Twitter, right? Use scheduling tools. I use this PostBridge application to batch content. Sometimes, you know, you prepare, for example, this draft for today, it was already prepared. I just posted it. So done for today. I do not need to create content for today anymore. It makes your life easier. Track your metrics, basically look what works, basically check which post, which type of content is working and double down on those, but keep experimenting with new types of content. Uh, join community or <laughs> build one. Having others doing the challenge with me uh, helped me to stay accountable. I will skip at least a few days in the challenge, you know, if not community. And the goal is not to become a marketing guru overnight. It is to build a habit of regularly showing up and creating content, building audience for your products. If this inspired you to start your own marketing challenge, I would love to hear about it. Uh, drop comment below the like button with your app and link to this application and what marketing action you are going to commit to. What will you do? Will that be 30 days of marketing? Maybe 100 days like Pavel do? And if you want to join community of indie developers who are serious about growing their apps, check out the Indie App Accelerator. Links are in description. Remember, your apps will not market itself, but marketing doesn't have to be overwhelming. One action, one day at a time, that's how you build something sustainable. Thanks for watching. See you next one. Bye.